Hello everyone and welcome to this SimQuest demo. Through this video, I will provide you with a brief demonstration on how to quickly set up and use Shining's EinScan Pro 2X Plus Scanner. We can start with the scanner setup. This scanner really is a plug and play system. The first thing that I'll do is snap on the color pack that I purchased as an additional option. This will allow me to scan colors and texture in addition to the geometry itself. You'll notice that there are two cables that exit the back of the scanner. One is a USB 3.0, which is used for data transfer from your scanner to your computer, and the other is a cable that powers your scanner and goes to your power strip. Next, we have the scanner calibration. Once you enter the calibration mode, the EinScan software has a very helpful video that shows you step-by-step step from the vantage point of the user how to position the plate on the plate holder. You then obtain feedback when the height calibrations have been achieved. There are two modes in which you can use the scanner. First, I will show you the tripod and turntable option, which make for a more accurate scan. You set the exposure with the slider to ensure that you have enough lighting to capture maximum geometry. I then choose the mode in which the scanner will align each scan to the successive scan. Last, I choose the number of steps that the turntable will take. Once these settings are in place, I click on Start Scan. A fringe pattern is cast on my part, then the camera records the position of the 3D point in space and it starts building my scan. The handheld option works in a similar way, but without the turntable nor the tripod. The scanner is able to use rich features on the part itself to align the scan data in real time as you move around the object. If at any point it loses registration, you could always return to the last recognized place and continue the scan from there. Last, we'll talk about post-processing. The first thing I'll do is window select and delete any unwanted data. Once I have the final data, I generate a polygonal model of the scan by clicking Mesh Model, and the software lets me choose if I would like a water type model or not. At this point, I have a few post processing options like texture remapping, sharpening, smoothing, and simplifying the mesh. I'm going to use the smoothing option to get rid of some of the rough, tessellated look. When you're done with post-processing the polygonal mesh, you click on Save Scan, you choose your file type, and your scan is complete. Thank you so much for watching this demonstration today.